I think P2B has not done anything to deserve the support of the North. Articles are live. A healable. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Anthony Ehilebo, a staunch ally of the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Atiku Abubaka, has analyzed the chances of the presidential candidate P2B in the northern part of Nigeria ahead of a 2023 presidential election. Speaking on AIT News, the People's Democratic Party chief team, Anthony Ehilebo, staunch ally of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has analyzed the chances of presidential candidate P2B in the northern part of Nigeria ahead of a 2023 presidential election. Speaking on EIT News, the PDP chieftain explained why he thinks P2B may not win any state in the north. Addressing the topic, Ehilebo said, I can mention nearly 15 northern states where P2B may not get 25% of the vote. You have to be a non-quantifiable factor, especially in the north, to win an election. P2B is not a well-known entity in the north. I think P2B has not done anything to deserve or warrant the support of the north. He continued, also P2B may not get votes in some states in the southwest. Look at the people P2B is going up against. He is up against a two-time vice president. Atiku became vice president at the exception of Nigeria's democracy. To remember may survive the same problem in the north. People often think that we in the PDP have anything against P2B. Hmm. Let's say this piece is interesting. Abi, what do call him? So, <laughs> he's saying that P2B is actually not going to get put in the north, you know, solely because people is not popular, popular in the north. Abi? Well, except the northerners are allergic to good things, hmm? that is why they will not vote for a particular candidate who is offering them something better. Imagine, say, you they live for, ah, which place will I use? You are living in a place where they call the slum of slums or the creeks of creeks of a particular and somebody is coming and telling you see it is possible for you to get out of here all you need to do is to just do this do this and do that and continue doing it and you know consistently you're going to be able to make enough to leave a place and you are hell bent on a big a big a big ah uh -uh. say here where you day day you okay what's he go do you go leave them well that's by the way that is just one scenario of um, saying that. And the Northerners, please, I want people to come out and tell us if this man is your spokesperson. I want to believe this man is not a spokesperson for the entire North. The North is divided into, the North has six, I mean, three geopolitical zones, which is the North West, the North Central, and the North East. So, the Northerners should come out and tell us if they have made, what's this man's name again? If they have made um, this uh, Hila Ball the spokesperson of the north who are you to tell the whole north who to support and who not support exactly uh, i am here saying you know uh, even if even if he is someone in the north does he meet his that how am i going to put his that influential mm? are still people still allowing people who don't who don't improve the quality of, of their life to be influential over them or should 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 should, should sell their choices just because you know somebody influential speaks I want to believe the Northerners have awoken. Well, both of them have awoken from their slumber as well. <laughs> Please listen to this. Who is this one again? And where is he coming from? Is he a Nigerian or one of those visitors? I beg back one side, make the business concentrate on the work to be. <laughs> In a month, no good. <laughs> In a month, no good at all. No be like this. So. You are a small boy to discuss politics at the degree you are trying to. Just market your candidate. Thank you. Thank you. I still maintain that it is early 
for you to come out and start saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, this one will win, this one will not win, in this place, this is what will happen. I still feel, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, they never break. They never break, finish. You don't come outside, they talk about tomorrow. Uh-uh. Uncle, small, small. Don't rush. You don't be faster than your, than your shadow, nor count your, your cheeks. Or eggs before they hatch. Just, you know, allow everything to go. Allow everything to go as, allow everything to go naturally. Before you conclude. Why are you people worried about P2B? My dear, this matter, it's a gilly. People are living to market their candidates. Imagine campaign spokesperson, PDP spokesperson, APC spokesperson, they will come on board and all they will have to say is nothing but P2B will not be able to do this and P2B. Ah, ah. Hey. Awa, an easy, humble, gentle-going man. Why are you attacking his visits? You people said he does not have structure. Okay, you people said you have structure. Why P2B has none? Please, you in the so-called old party should leave P2B alone and sell your candidates to the public. Uh -huh. That is how it is supposed to happen. Eh? These people are going against the rules and they are making a mistake. Look, do you know that in 2014, hmm? 2014, PDP also made this mistake. Instead of marketing their candidate, which was Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, they focused on the marketing the all progressives. Instead of, yes, they used the strategy. And I tell you, what's happen? Of course, you know, no way to result into now. All right. It is surprising how other parties will go on television only to discuss P2B. God is promoting someone. Exactly. You are saying this man does not have structure. You are saying this man does not have anything. Then why are you so worried? Why are you worried? And the thing besides the man, if he, he going on a uh, television interview, he says what people want to hear. He gives people, this is the technical, you know, this is how A, B, C, D we go. This is how C, D, E, F we go. You know, he tells people what exactly, that is what governance is all about. That is what campaign is all about. You tell people what you're going to do, how you're going to go about it. So that at the end of the day, you know, even if everything does not go, uh, how am I going to put it? If everything goes and the person goes in, you know, you can hold on to the person. That is what campaign is for. Campaign is for selling your candidate in the best possible way, not coming to the market another. All right. Carry your similar and your dance again and vanish. Oh, my goodness. I vanish from here, campaigning for candidates, not for the betterment of Nigeria, but for just too much infrastructure. Well, Nigeria, I've said it before, said the northerners now, they are allergic to good things. And of course, uh, maybe in the north, maybe they are, having, they are having the different price. There's no inflation there, and there is no devaluation of the Naira there. And of course, this security that we are hearing of, maybe it's just a rumor. Uh -huh, no problem. They can do whatever they like. But if you are facing what Nigerians is facing, my advice to them, is to come out, let's keep our differences aside and vote for the best candidate. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time.